Negation, Wikipedia article audio. In logic, negation, also called the logical complement, is an operation that takes a proposition P to another proposition not P, written P, which is interpreted intuitively as being true when P is false, and false when P is true. Negation is thus a unary logical connective. It may be applied as an operation on notions, propositions, truth values, or semantic values more generally. In classical logic, negation is normally identified with the truth function that takes truth to falsity and vice versa. In intuitionistic logic, according to the Brouwer Heating Kalmogorov interpretation, the negation of a proposition P is the proposition whose proofs are the refutations of P. Definition Notation Properties Double negation Distributivity Linearity Self-dual Rules of inference Programming Kripke semantics No agreement exists as to the possibility of defining negation, as to its logical status, function and meaning, as to its field of applicability, and as to the interpretation of the negative judgment. Classical negation is an operation on one logical value, typically the value of a proposition, that produces a value of true when its operand is false and a value of false when its operand is true. So, if statement A is true, then A would therefore be false, and conversely, if A is false, then A would be true. The truth table of P is as follows. Classical negation can be defined in terms of other logical operations. For example, P can be defined as PF, where is logical consequence and F is absolute falsehood. Conversely, one can define F as P and P for any proposition P, where and is logical conjunction. The idea here is that any contradiction is false. While these ideas work in both classical and intuitionistic logic, they do not work in paraconsistent logic where contradictions are not necessarily false. But in classical logic, we get a further identity, PQ can be defined as PQ, where is logical disjunction, not P, or Q. Algebraically, classical negation corresponds to complementation in a Boolean algebra, and intuitionistic negation to pseudo-complementation in a heating algebra. These algebras provide a semantics for classical and intuitionistic logic respectively. The negation of a proposition P is notated in different ways in various contexts of discussion and fields of application. Among these variants are the following. In set theory backslash is also used to indicate not member of, U backslash A is the set of all members of U that are not members of A. No matter how it is notated or symbolized, the negation P slash P can be read as it is not the case that P, not that P, or usually more simply as not P. Within a system of classical logic, double negation, that is, the negation of the negation of a proposition P, is logically equivalent to P. Expressed in symbolic terms, PP. In intuitionistic logic, a proposition implies its double negation but not conversely. This marks one important difference between classical and intuitionistic negation. Algebraically, classical negation is called an involution of period 2. However, in intuitionistic logic we do have the equivalence of P and P. Moreover, in the propositional case, a sentence is classically provable if its double negation is intuitionistically provable. This result is known as Glavenko's theorem. 
De Morgan's laws provide a way of distributing negation over disjunction and conjunction. Let denote the logical XOR operation. In Boolean algebra, a linear function is one such that if there exists a 0, a 1, a n, such that f equals a 0. For all b1, bn. Another way to express this is that each variable always makes a difference in the truth value of the operation or it never makes a difference. Negation is a linear logical operator. In Boolean algebra a self-dual function is one such that f equals f for all a 1, a n. Negation is a self-dual logical operator. There are a number of equivalent ways to formulate rules for negation. One usual way to formulate classical negation in a natural deduction setting is to take as primitive rules of inference negation introduction, negation elimination, and double negation elimination. One obtains the rules for intuitionistic negation the same way but by excluding double negation elimination. Negation introduction states that if an absurdity can be drawn as conclusion from P then P must not be the case or refutable or etc. Negation elimination states that anything follows from an absurdity. Sometimes negation elimination is formulated using a primitive absurdity sign. In this case the rule says that from P and P follows an absurdity. Together with double negation elimination one may infer our originally formulated rule, namely that anything follows from an absurdity. Typically the intuitionistic negation P of P is defined as P. Then negation introduction and elimination are just special cases of implication introduction and elimination. In this case one must also add as a primitive rule x falso quad libet. As in mathematics, negation is used in computer science to construct logical statements. They signifies logical not in B, C, and languages with a C-inspired syntax such as C++, Java, JavaScript, Perl, and PHP. Not is the operator used in ALGOL 60, BASIC and languages with an ALGOL or BASIC-inspired syntax such as Pascal, Ada, Eiffel, and SCED7. Some languages provide more than one operator for negation. A few languages like PL-I and RIT4 use for negation. Some modern computers and operating systems will display as on files encoded in ASCII. Most modern languages allow the above statement to be shortened from if to if, which allows sometimes, when the compiler slash interpreter is not able to optimize it, faster programs. In computer science there is also bitwise negation. This takes the value given and switches all the binary ones to zeros and zeros to ones. See bitwise operation. This is often used to create 1's complement or in C or C++ and 2's complement as it basically creates the opposite or mathematical complement of the value. To get the absolute value of a given integer the following would work as the changes it from negative to positive. To demonstrate logical negation. Inverting the condition and reversing the outcomes produces code that is logically equivalent to the original code, i.e. will have identical results for any input. This convention occasionally surfaces in written speech, as computer-related slang for not. The phrase, voting, for example, means not voting. In Kripke semantics where the semantic values of formulae are sets of possible worlds, negation can be taken to mean set theoretic complementation.